What is up fam? Today I'm gonna show you three ways to make these drinkable magic potions. Stay tuned. For all of the methods I'm about to show, you're gonna have to choose out some interesting looking bottles. Now I'm gonna be using some colorful sports drinks for this project, but feel free to use whatever beverage you want. For our first magical method, I'm gonna be using some of this pearl dust that I picked up from a local craft store. They come in a variety of different colors and they're usually used to make the frosting on baked goods all sparkly. All we have to do is fill up one of our magical vials with the drink of our choice, then just add in a little bit of that baker's fairy dust. Once it's all mixed in, it looks amazing. The swirling pearlescent clouds are a clear indication that magic is afoot. And since that powder's flavorless, you can enjoy your drink just as you intended it. But let's say you want to add a little glow to your potion. To achieve this, we're gonna to need to pick up some of these little bullet LEDs, usually used to put in balloons at parties. They're just little self-contained, really bright LEDs that turn on with a twist. These ones have this little nubbin on the back that you're supposed to tie a balloon string to. For our purposes though, that's just in the way, so go ahead and nip that off. Now I'm gonna grab my little bottle that may or may not have housed liquor at one point and make a small adjustment by drilling a hole just big enough for my bullet LED to slide into. When I'm ready for the magic to happen, I just turn it on and slide it into place. Then I fill my bottle up with my elixir of life and attach my LED cork for this really cool glowing effect. The only downside to this is when I remove the cork to drink it, the magic disappears. So let's remedy that by making a potion that'll glow with or without the cork. To make this happen, we're gonna need some of these really thin neodymium magnets that kind of look like washers. Now just as before, we're gonna wanna cut away this little extra piece that's on the back of the bullet LEDs. But this time, we're gonna use a file to make sure it's completely flat. To make our magnet easier to work with, I use some of this blue painter's tape on my finger and then stick the magnet to it. Next, I busted out some trusty super glue and ran a bead of it all along one side of my magnet. Then I carefully positioned it onto the back end of my bullet LED where I flattened it with my file. As you can see, the magnet kind of looks like it was meant to be there. Also, the super glue is non-toxic, but if you're worried, you can also use hot glue. For the next step, we grab another magnet and make sure we have the polarity correct so it wants to stick to the magnet we just attached to our bullet. Now make sure that sticky side stays up and apply some super glue to it just like we did before. This time though, we want to stick it right to the center of the bottom of the bottle we want to use. And since most bottles have this little indent, it won't affect how it stands when it's on a flat surface. Now we simply turn on our LED and drop it into the bottom of the bottle. Our magnet catches the light right away and locks it into place. The result is this gorgeous magical inner glow that stays put no matter how hard you shake it. That being said, do be careful with this method in small children as it can pose a choking hazard. Now this is already magical and beautiful, but with just a little bit of decoration, you really turn it into something special. And the pearl dust does such a good job at hiding the light. But if you don't want to use the pearl dust, you could also just use this frosted glass spray paint. Simply apply an even coat to the bottom of your glass bottle. Once it dries, you're left with this awesome frosted glass appearance that's gonna make it look like your potion is nice and cold. Then just fill it with your liquid of choice and drop your magnetized bullet in. As you can see, the frost hides the body of the LED, but still lets all that light come through. And there you have it, fam, a drinkable magic potion you could use for costumes, LARP, cosplay, or, you know, just cause it's awesome. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, hit me with that thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe so you know when I release new content. And as always, keep leveling up, you.